On a magical do nothing day. Here we were again, me and Mom in the same cabin, the same forest, the same rain. Dad back in the city. Mom sat at her desk while I destroyed Martians. Actually, I was just pressing the same button over and over. I wished Dad were here. What about a break from your game, Mom growled. Is this going to be another day of doing nothing? She was right. There was nothing I wanted to do, except destroy Martians. She took the game and out of my hands, and hid it, as usual. I found it as usual. And went outside, where it felt like everything in our garden was hiding from the rain. I held my game tightly. Maybe it would protect me from this boring, wet place. I walked down the hill. At the bottom of our path, I saw some flat rocks in the pond. The rocks were round, like the heads of the marshes. I decided to jump on them and crush them. Oh no! What did I do? My game fell in the pond. This could not be happening to me. I stuck my hands in the water to grab it. It was so icy cold. I screamed. Without my game, I had nothing to do. The rain was so hard; it felt like rocks hitting me. I was a small tree caught in a hurricane. Just then, there were four lights, and four huge snails appeared. Is there anything to do around here? I asked them. Yes, indeed, they told me. I reached out and touched their antennae. They were as soft as jelly. It made me smile. So I followed them down the path, and soon I found dozens of mushrooms. The air was so damp. I knew that smell from when I was little. My grandparents' basement, my cave of treasures. I felt a sense that there was something special close by. That I was surrounded. I bent down and dug my fingers into the mud, where a thousands of, where a thousand seeds and pellets, kernels, grains, roots, and berries, touched my fingers and hands. An underground world full of treasures that I w- I could feel. I looked up at the sky. Some beans fell down through a giant sieve, and blinded me. I thought I heard the beat of drums from far away, but it was just my heart. I felt filled with energy and began running fast. So fast, I fell down the hill. And there, at the bottom, everything was turned upside down. The whole world seemed brand new, as if it had just been created right in front of me. 
I climb a tree and look out as far as my eyes could see. I breathed in air until my lungs were bursting. I drank raindrops like an animal would. I noticed bug I'd never seen before. I talked to a bird. I made my biggest splash. Then I collected smooth stones as clear as glass and watched the world shining through them. Why hadn't I done this since before today? Soaked to the bones, I ran inside the house, took off my coat, and looked in the mirror. Oh, I saw I I thought I saw my dad smiling at me. My mom was there. Still writing, but now she looked different, like one of the creatures outside. Oh, you are soaked through. Let me dry you. She took a towel and we went to the kitchen. I feel like giving her a big hug. I wanted to tell her what I had seen, felt. And tested outside in the world, but I didn't. We just sat in the kitchen, looked at each other, and breathed in the delicious smell of our hot chocolate. That's it. That's all we did on this magical do nothing day. The end.